He's hot. Oh, well, you're not so bad yourself. You need antibiotics. Yeah, well, that's not going to happen. Look, I'm serious. I hate to ask, but can you get some? No. Well, you did it for Rona. Yeah, and look at the mess that got me in. Yeah, but this isn't the same. Please, he needs his medicine. Beg him for him. I'm sorry. You've done more than enough. I just forget I asked. Look, I'm not promising anything, but I'll see what I can do. Thanks. So what time are the police showing up? I haven't rung them. I knew you couldn't do it. You were out of here as soon as you were fixed. What are you to tell Laurel? I mean, she's a friend, a lovely woman, and you... We don't trust you to keep your mouth shut. You'll drop us all in it. I'm no grass. I'd rather not put that to the test. You're not forgiven either. You should have told me the second you knew who he was. We don't have secrets. So how long is he staying for? For as long as it takes. I can't just chuck him out, can I? Well, I can. Just say the word. You're the reason he's here in the first place. It's just for a few days until he's better. What else am I supposed to do? Do what you like. But don't blame me when it all blows up in your face. I don't know. It's just everything. Everything I suggest, like the whole bridesmaid thing. Oh, she'll come round to that. Well, she won't. Ashley, she's been through so much lately. I was thinking maybe uh, I should postpone the wedding until she's more settled. You can't put your plans on hold for her. No, Ashley, I, I don't want to be a hassle, but um, Adam could really do with a hand. Oh, oh right. Only, only I haven't had any lunch yet. Well, that's OK. I'll, I'll make something and bring it out to you. Oh, OK. You've had him upstairs? No, no, he'll have left a window open again. Oh. Right, well, thanks for the chat. I'd best yeah. be off. <laughs> oh, it's Betty. Oh, right. Victoria's got Jude coming around to the cafe. They want to meet me there. Oh, why's that? Oh, Alan had said that he wanted me to officiate at his funeral. Are you able to? I've no idea. Oh, I hope so. Especially if Alan wanted it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there you go. Thank you. Yeah, you should go and see him. Yeah, go now. But you said Adam. No, 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 I can take care of Adam. This is far more important. Oh, Maura, thank you. Oh, that's OK. <laughs> nice to see you. And you. Would he take that so anyone can walk through that door? Then lock it. You're not getting it. I can't keep doing this, lying to everyone. I hate what you did. And if we weren't related, I'd be the first to go to the police. Go on, then. Don't push me. I'll be waiting in my room. It's not your room. So what? You're kicking me out? Do you know what? I can't deal with this. What you did to Laurel, her ex-husband working here, my heart going every time the door opens. OK, then. I'll get out your air. Find a doorway to kip in. Hope I don't freeze to death. Thought you said there were plenty of couches. Yeah, maybe. As long as I don't get lynched on the way. You said a couple of days, that's all I need. Then I'll be gone. You never have to see me again. 